This is before using the free optimization tool with my CPU somehow stuck at 100%. And this is the result after using the optimization tool, fixing the CPU usage and lower number of processes. So if you are a Windows user, chances are you want to optimize your Windows for gaming and performance. That's exactly what we're gonna do today. So without any further ado, let's dive into it. The tool we will be using is called Win Arrow Tweaker, which is quite a popular Windows utility for optimizing Windows performance performance. So download it from the link in the description. Once you have it downloaded and extracted, simply run the optimizer as admin. You can also create a system restore point at this stage if you really want to. But under the information tab, it shows you all your PC specs so you can bask in the glory of your potato PC. Under recent changes, it shows the list of all the tweaks and settings you have changed allowing you to easily revert any of the changes that you desire. Then for Windows 11 specific settings, you can enable the classic context menu by default if i right click on my desktop it shows this menu which is hated by everyone so by enabling the classic context menu and then clicking on restart explorer if i right click now it shows this menu which is far better than the new one moving to disable background apps in windows 11 unlike windows 10 you can't disable all the background apps at once you have to disable background apps individually through settings which is quite tedious and time consuming so here you can disable all the background apps at once saving you a lot of system resources to give you more performance. For disable copilot, I highly recommend you to disable it since Microsoft uses it to spy on you, especially with the upcoming updates so unless you want to use it, disable it. To save time, I will only go through the important settings and to save even more time, you can use my config file to apply all the best settings and tweaks for you. So download my config file from the description, click on the file, then import export tweaks, import from a file, next, and then browse the INI file you just downloaded, then next, and hit apply. It will automatically apply all of the tweaks for you so your lazy ass doesn't have to lift a finger. Under the appearance, you can activate arrow light, change accents, use dark mode or light mode if you are a psychopath, set up startup sounds, etc. On advanced appearance, you can change icons, system fonts, menus and all that stuff. Moving to the most important settings, under behavior for ads and unwanted apps, I want you to disable everything here so Microsoft doesn't keep spying on you and advertising their products everywhere. For automatic registry backups, I want you to keep it disabled unless you apply a bunch of random registry files without knowing what they actually do. In that case, enable it but it will cost you performance just so you know. Then disable automatic maintenance since it is a daily task which will run in the background using our precious CPU time which can result in lags and stutters. So disable it. For disable download blocking, keep it enabled otherwise you will be installing a bunch of random software without any warning. Then disable driver updates, turn off driver updates with windows updates so windows can't download random drivers while updating. Since you can manually install any drivers that you need and downloading them via windows updates can cause driver issues too. So turn this off. Off. Disable MOT for installing, so if you don't install random software off of internet, disabling it shouldn't be an issue. However, for privacy and security reasons, you can keep this enabled. It will impact the performance just a tiny bit. Disable smart screen, I recommend you to disable it for Windows Store and Microsoft Edge. However, for Windows, once again, if you use Windows with caution, disabling it should be fine. Otherwise, keep it enabled for Windows. Disable user folder backup to OneDrive, I personally don't use OneDrive, so it's disabled and you can disable it too if you want. Disable Windows Updates. This is quite controversial since it impacts the performance but is also required for security. So here's what to do. First go and install all the security updates available to you via the Windows Updates. Then come back here and disable these updates. If new security updates are provided, repeat the same step. In this way you will get both the security and the best performance. Then for menu show delay, by default it's at 400, change it to 0 to increase the menu response responsiveness. It will require you to sign out but we will restart our PC later. Then split threshold for SVC host. This will basically group a bunch of related services together which reduces the total number of processes running in the background by a lot. You can also set this to above RAM size and test but it's really up to you. But make sure that you use this setting to reduce the total number of processes running on your CPU. Under boot and logon, you can change the default lock screen background, disable the lock screen, enable user auto login 
to require username and password every time, disable login screen, image background, custom sign-in messages, and much more. Under desktop and taskbar, you can disable web searches and Katana from start menu which is really annoying since it uses Bing. So I always disable it and you can also change the wallpaper quality to increase or decrease it as you wish. On text menu, there are a few things that I like to add to this right click menu that shows up. One being the file hash which allows me to check the file integrity as I work with a lot of different ISO files. Also power options to provide me easy access to power plans. So go through this list and add any of the options that you would like. Moving to Microsoft Edge for disable annoyances and bloat, I highly recommend that you disable all these settings and disable Microsoft Edge as you can always use other browsers such as Brave, Firefox or even Chrome. Disable shortcut creation after updates which disables this Microsoft Edge shortcut on desktop after each update. Then disable updates, of course you want to disable all Edge updates. Under settings and control panel, the important one is disable online and video tips in settings. Check this to disable all those tips and links to tutorials etc. You can also hide specific pages from settings. Let's say you wanna hide nearby sharing under system settings and it will just hide the selected ones. You can also hide insider page but I just leave it. Under file explorer, you can customize this PC's folders by adding or removing new folders to it which can be quite handy. You can also set default drag and drop action to set it to copy items or move or even create a shortcut. I also recommend you to disable search history just to keep the explorer clean and simple. Disable thumbnail previews if you want to. Enable classic windows 10 search. You can also enable recycle bin for removable drives so that anything deleted from these drives isn't permanently deleted and instead goes to the recycle bin. You can also customize navigation pan with custom items or enable disable the items that are there by default. Then skip the network settings since there isn't much to change here. And move to user accounts where you can enable built-in admin account that windows creates by default. This is for power users so keep it as is. You can also enable or disable UAC. It's that annoying pop-up that shows up every time you run something as an admin. But it's there for security so only disable it if you don't run random files or software as admin. It is required to be disabled for some tweaks to work but other than that just keep it enabled. Moving to windows defender, you can disable the windows defender which isn't recommended at all. However, click on open windows defender settings then click on manage settings and scroll down to turn off temper protection if you want to disable defender as it does use a lot of cpu via its services that run in background but also make sure to disable automatic sample submission as it sends your data back home to microsoft which you don't want so whether you enable or disable windows defender it's up to you as i keep it disabled since i use windows carefully but make sure you disable the automatic sample submission protection against unwanted software you can enable protection against unwanted wanted software if you install a lot of software from untrusted websites or vendors to provide you with extra layer of security. Just know that this can also detect and block legit software and files too for no apparent reason flagging them as virus which is a false positive. For show windows defender icon it's up to you. Under windows apps disable auto update store apps to avoid random spikes in ping or slower network while gaming. You can also disable katana unless you use it which I personally always keep it disabled but disable windows ink works space is only useful for tablet users so the rest of you can disable it without issue. Under power and battery, you can change the default action for shutdown dialog. Then inside hibernation, I recommend you to disable hibernation as it's completely useless for gamers. So disable it and then hit apply changes. Under power throttling, the idea behind this feature is to limit the CPU resources for inactive apps. But it can also affect the foreground apps so I recommend you to disable it unless you are on a laptop with heat up issues. Under privacy, disable the password reveal button which is as useless as it sounds but under the disable telemetry make sure to disable telemetry and data collection so that you can prevent microsoft from spying on your data all the time then under tools you can change the oem information to set your own name phone logo etc in the about page inside the settings you can also change the windows registered owner inside of here you can also clear wallpaper history to remove all the previous wallpapers from the personalization tab of settings you can use this to merge or use multiple registry files at once by adding them here. Open registry key to jump to specific locations within the registry editor for manual tweaking. Reset icon cache. Reset local group policy which is recommended if you have applied a lot of group policy settings that can cause issues with windows. Run as trusted installer lets you run registry files with elevated privileges which are required by some registry tweaks. You can also configure, create and restore your system using the restore points from here. Finally for classic apps you can enable the old windows photo viewer. Get desktop get 
gadgets like Windows 7, download classic games and more. Once done, click on reboot now and restart your PC. But if you want to optimize your CPU for ultimate performance, then check out this video right now.